Hey everyone, and welcome to our Clips and Highlights channel. If you want to keep up with everything Kyle and I have going on, make sure you subscribe to the main Grinding Gear YouTube channel, which is where we actually do these streams. That's right, we stream right here on YouTube. Oh, and uh, sub to the Grinding Gear podcast. Apple, Google, Spotify, really any podcast platform. We're probably there. Thanks. How do you feel about bosoms? How do you feel about bosoms? Exactly. How do you feel um, about the word bosoms? Yeah. Also? It's, yeah. Uh, you know, it's not something I use in daily conversation. Uh, That'd be <laughs> shocked if you did. <laughs> um, but Sveen, yeah, I think, um, you know, we still, at the time of talking to you right now, as we're live, uh, haven't cleared it. Okay. But we've seen everything the fight has to show us we we hit the final enrage because there is more than one um i don't know four or five six times so we, we saw the whole fight um we we kind of hit that last healer check uh, had to get through that a couple times and now we're just stuck at a at a dps check essentially um and uh yeah i think it's i think it's great i have one big beef with it but before we get to nitpicking i will say overall i was like damn this is uh this is a fight design and it reminds me of Shinryu in the way that it like kind of transforms and, and is like, Oh, you thought you knew what this fight was about, but actually we made something entirely special just for this extreme. Um, and I think the first time you see it, it will be your, it'll probably, it's a bit of a mind blow moment because it's so completely unlike anything in the normal that uh, it really impressed me. Yeah, a, a complete without a, a, sphine, a sphine moment, which is different now, to be fair. True. But, you know. We put out a whole video last week. Yeah, you did. VO, and uh, there's, there's parts of both I like, and I didn't think it was that bad. By the We we took yeah. so long to beat Dawn Trail that by the time we got there, like, it was, I think, over-memed. <laughs> like, everyone yeah. was chanting it before we even got to that part. And, uh, but, um. But yeah, well, I mean, what would you say, Kyle? Were you impressed? Would you say it, it just in quality, maybe not in difficulty, putting it up there with Shinryu, even though I I would say this is a pretty difficult fight? I mean, I'm weak to just crawling robots and bashing heads. I love when Morpheus goes, oh, and puts his head through the wall. That's my favorite part in the movie. <laughs> and his head attacks. I love them so damn much. So I have the whole final phase instantly sold. Uh, not to steal Garrett's thunder, but I don't know why they got rid of the game show flying wall mechanic that was really weird why why not do that but more times that we is all, my nitpick we all wanted to see that multiple times and that was weird we didn't get to dodge the walls but i thought it was i thought it was beautiful I, i've got one voice in my head that has reached me and i don't know anything about uh end singer extreme I haven't done that yet right. but i know that it was a disappointment and difficulty so it's i disappointment did, entirely yeah yeah, I, I want to know a little bit about that, and I want to hear your thoughts on Sphine Extreme as well. So, End Singer doesn't have anything special. Um, no wow factor like Shinryu. No wow factor like Sphine. Wow, with, like stuff. Really? Yeah, yeah. It didn't. Yeah, it it really doesn't have any sort of. Oh my god! Wow. It, it, everyone was like, "It's over." The final boss of the entire arc of final fantasy 14 uh, yeah. until this new arc that we're being set on right now it was wow. it was it was for most it was the worst and walker one like not it's it's not as easy as zodiac but it's more disappointing because people wanted it to be more than it was so wow you know, at least zodiac you're like oh it's just one of the first extremes you I'm know the expansion. Think, was there anything i guess hades didn't have a special phase so that there's not a he there's did not a pattern did he? He went all extra facey face. Yeah. Oh, you're right. I did. Yeah. Never mind. So there is a pattern of the the point one extreme getting getting kind of like a, a surprise. He also has the La Habre and Iggy Yorm phase and the Asian Prime phase in extreme, which are not in normal. Yeah, I don't ad phases don't impress me. I'm like, okay, I, I don't bother me, but I'm like, eh, yeah. we've, I've, you've seen one ad phase, you've seen an ad phase, but it's very cute. Absolutely, it was adorable. The, I mean, uh, yeah, and also the Nabrialis face. Those are those, those are some of the harder parts of the fight. So <laughs> that's why I got to give them a special call out because they yeah, they yeah. Are, they are new and they they are kind of supposed to be fitting the lore of Hades and who yeah. he is and everything. Yeah. So it works. They're out. solid. They're solid phases, but it's but Ensinger doesn't have any of that. No, and and the other thing with Ensinger, without without talking about the specific mechanics, is um, 
about halfway in, there stops being new stuff. So the second half is pretty much the first half, but it may be a little faster, but it's the exact same mechanics. Interesting. Uh, so, so you really only like get half a fight. Normals like that too. Like Yeah, but I mean, how do I, how do I say it? The few things that are different are not the parts that people are looking forward to seeing in mm. extreme. It'd be like if the wall was missing, but every mechanic was the wall missing. First thing. <laughs> <laughs> so the new mechanics are lack of mechanics. It's it's more so nobody considers them like oh I like I really wanted to see this in End Singer Extreme. Okay, so they're just not noteworthy, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a bummer. That's that's a bummer to hear because that is a cool fight. Like in normal, it is it is a spectacle. It is a hell of a capstone. But uh, yeah, yeah, we were we haven't done it. We're kind of saving it in the bed because we usually well usually it, three times makes a tradition we've done it once last year we ended the year with a with a charity our last stream before the holiday break was a big charity stream and we saved seed of sacrifice extreme for that we were good one about it. it was a good we one about doing yeah. the same very, very and the same <laughs> so did did nidhog yeah. did nidhog do different stuff has that been a tradition since uh, no nidhog nidhog has the same three phases I he has normal okay. then yeah. All right, because I remember being really disappointed with Nidhogg Extreme. I was expecting it to kind of get weird on me. So, and, and, though to be fair, the capstone fight there is Thornton, not Nidhogg. Oh, that's so, right. And, oh, and that's Thorden. right. Nidhogg was a yeah. point yeah. three boss. That's right. It's so easy yeah. to get those Thorden mixed up. Was the yeah the mm -hmm. end of point oh boss. Yeah. Dory, if you eventually do ultimate, you'll get plenty more Nidhogg in your life with DSR. <laughs> I went to. Uh, Animal Kingdom, the Disney park this weekend with a an out of state was Nidhogg there? No, but my buddy <laughs> who I was going to the park with uh is an ultimate raider. <laughs> and, okay. And he's like, Oh god, you're finally you're finally current. He's just like every time we're in line for something, he's just like, Oh god, so this ultimate <laughs> is gonna break your soul. That ultimate's gonna break your soul. And yeah, he was he was talking about DSR quite a bit. Don't do them blind. For the love of God, don't I have no interest. We don't get do probably the the number the two most common questions we get is uh, when are you doing Savage? When are you doing Ultimate? And are you doing Savage or Ultimates blind? And the answer is yes, we're going to eventually do them. We don't have a date yet. Uh, and no, we will not be doing them blind. Uh, I would no say interest. don't don't watch ahead of where you are. That's the one thing I would say. Like when you get to something new, then look at it. That way when you first get okay. there, it's like, Whoa. I'm into that. Yeah. Oh, that's a fun way to play it. Cause so I, learn learn it after you see it instead yeah. of learning it before you see it. So that way it's like blind, but you don't stay blind for very long. Oh, by by the way, that that same friend. Not that you would ever. No one would ever go to a third party website that aggregates polls so that you could look at data of polls. But you know, imagine a fantasy world where you could do that. Uh, my my friend uh pulled up uh uh fake statistics for their dsr run and uh the raw number of pulls was nuts and the the amount of time alive was measured in seconds from pull to pull <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's that checks mm -hmm. yeah that sounds like that sounds like omega also yeah. you can definitely measure the majority of your pulls in seconds yeah so I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of tree logs i love wood logs <laughs> I'm I'm just I'm so everyone knows it's log. logs. It's log, 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 log. It's big, it's heavy, it's wood. <laughs> so we're talking about like the Grandmaster League. You're unreal wait, Savage and Unreal. Where would you put those on our League of Legends hierarchy? Uh well, okay. I'm trying to remember what the highest ranks are and because there's masters, obviously. There's, there's grandmasters, I think now is is what it is. Ultim Ultimate's grandmasters. Although even there, I'd say it ranges from like Ultima is really more like the same as the end of Savage. They're very close, if okay. any, even a jump up. So I would say you go Platinum and Diamond into Savage, and then Masters, Grandmasters for Ultimate. And where are the Unreals in there? They're the same as the Extremes, because they're oh, just okay. higher level. Okay, they're just, yeah. Yeah, they're identical. Cool. They're, they're, your item level's a little lower than it usually is when you do it, but if you did them at mid-item level, then you wouldn't notice a difference anyway. Okay. Yeah, that's what we did. Because yeah, I guess the Unreal, the only difference would be we have access to our entire kits. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As opposed to uh, being 
yeah, scaled down. And but it is fun going back in time. Away. Yeah, I, I enjoy that. <laughs> so, so part of our ultimate prep is going, just doing things that aren't current. But instead of doing mid-item level no echo, we equip a set of gear that lets us stay at level 100, but still do the old fights with all of our level 100 stuff. And it's like balanced properly. It's it's like we have to wear like no accessories and like no pants, yeah. no boots, but like a body piece and a head piece with like a specific weapon. And we, I th- I've got like just a bunch of trash gear for this. That's and that's hilarious. that's very interesting because going back, it's, it's some of the old raids have actually aged really well is what I've learned is doing it with all that gear on. It's like, wow, if this came out today, this would still be really good. That's it. Yeah, the only time we ended up doing that was Susano because it was like he was just so easy. We <laughs> him once, and they were like, "All right, let's just do it again." Because I like these mechanics, but they're trivial. Um, so we took our pants off, and it got us in roughly in the eye level. That was weird. Ballpark. Yeah. So, but, but yeah, yeah prefer to raid with my pants off too. So I get that. <laughs> But I, I was going to say, speak for yourself, Kyle. I, I like going back as long as it's above level 70 because I like playing uh, Dark Knight. So yes. before yeah, No, I get you. Yeah, I, I get out my samurai or my um, my red mage where I don't have to res anybody. That's pretty fun. You know, getting get, get to <laughs> take advantage of the situation a little bit here and there. But uh, we were approaching Mr. Happy's review of Sphine Extreme, and I'm still curious to hear that. What did you think after perhaps even the disappointment of end singer this was a huge step up in every regard there's a lot more fun puzzle mechanics to solve the first time which is fine you know once they're solved and doing them again it's not that big a deal which you know you do a fight on repeat it's never going to feel the same as the first time you do it you know so yeah. that's fine Tell um, to our team during ice phase we all still find ways to die during that well more so what i mean is it's like you have to spend pulls to figure out what to do. And then it's pulls to figure out doing it correct and to actually do it correctly. And the yeah. pulls to figure out how to do anything, they affect the overall experience of it. Like how many pulls does it take until we understand how this mechanic works? But like the meteors is, is a good example in earth phase. Like, Oh, you know, how many do we need? You know, do we need eight? Can we just drop them all off the side? Okay. We can't let's all stand behind our own meteor. Somebody dies because they tried to move to another meteor. So then you're like, oh, well then do we do a different arrangement? You know, is anyone stepping on the top? There's like all those little things that like go into doing it correctly. Even if when you know how to do it, it's like automatic and it's like, whatever, it's like second nature. It's not that big a deal. Easy fight, GG. That part factors into the experience. And Sphine is a very good learning experience, like a very fulfilling, I'm figuring this out for the first time experience. And then on repeat, because it's split into that double phase. So the first phase is like, I want to say six and a half, seven minutes. And then the second phase is like three ish, three and a half minutes. Uh, You feel like you're moving through the fight very quickly because the health bar going down just gives you that tiny dopamine hit, which keeps farming it a little bit fresher. And then the ice phase is always nerve wracking every time, no matter what, no matter how many times you've done it, that that the ice phase will be nerve wracking. I I was glad to hear that. Yeah. My, uh, my other tank, um, because we don't, we don't have a static, um, but uh, I, I have a tank buddy that I, it, it, if they're available, I bring them with because I like to trust my tank and and like just kind of mm-hmm. know I can depend on them and they know they can't depend on me. I got our tank killed many times uh, during Speed Extreme, <laughs> but um, I got a message from them after our, our second night of pulls it was just like, hey, by the way, checked in on other streams uh, and Party Finder, Ice Phase is just, a, it is the the breaker of morale for everyone. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, cool. Yeah, because the, like I, we, my group sat there and tried to figure it out and like, is there just a way where we can just turn our brains off to do it? And it's like, even what the Party Finder is doing now is not brain off. No matter what, it's just, you have to use your eyes and respond. It's just a matter of like, how much you need to use your eyes. I caught some flack on Thursday's stream because I said, I think we might just need to use our eyes. <laughs> no, that's genuinely what like you can, you can arrange yourself. So that's easier. Okay. And you can have like systems in place, but the bottom line is you can't just be like melee. Always do this ranged always. Like there's some sort of reaction to who gets what, like, for, like first tethers first or like, or, you know, however you want to do it. There's like, again, we you can't just first, you can't stand still and solve it. Yeah. yeah, we went first to this first, and it's funny we have a reaction uh, to your guide coming out um, soon. Oh boy, 
Um, so here's a little, a little preview, everybody. But um, yeah, we were we were watching yours, and there's a part in your guide where you just go, it, "This is just kind of a mess visually to see tethers, no matter what you do." And I'm like, I don't think I've agreed. I, I've agreed with everything in the guide up to this point, but I don't think I've ever like felt a, <laughs> like agreed <laughs> emotionally with anything you say. Because I'm like, yeah, we tried so many different ways to kind of visually parse it it is just a visual vomit like to try mm-hmm. and see who has what tether and what crystal you know what your point of origin is um they do technically go out one then two they but it's happened so quickly that unless unless you're on it and you start moving the second that first if those first four tethers go out you're looking at eight tethers and trying to make sense of it yeah yeah no it's it genuinely uh use your eyes is is become more and more common in recent years where they're like sometimes there's really a really quick way to solve something but it's not super intuitive so people do just resort to lining up and being like this just makes the most sense for me to go that way and everyone understands that like that's what they're supposed to do like okay it makes sense i'm standing here everyone has the same job similarly but we all need to be in a different place so just use your eyes and go to in fact um one of the ultimates one of the go-to strats is three players don't have anything to do, but they'll have something to do a second later. So they just all line up and the, and the line up left, right, center. If you lined up middle, you know where you're going, you lined up left, but, but there's no assignment for it. Like you could be left one pull, right? The other pull is just whoever gets to each of the spots first. Okay. So it's literally use your eye. <laughs> yeah. I think the, the one thing we didn't try, and I don't think it was in any of the guides that we checked out uh, my, my, my tank buddy Azumi sent this where it was, uh, it was two supports top, two supports bottom, two DPS top, two DPS bottom. And we haven't tried that one yet, but I'm like, I think that's probably the best. No. So for ice. Yeah. I can very immediately tell you why that's a disaster. Okay. Why? Because all four supports get one tether, all four DPS get the other. If you put two supports and two DPS on one side, all four of you could get the same, have to go across the same (laughs) bridge. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, but my thinking was like, if you're good yeah. at identifying that you're the first one that went out, you can just start running. You don't need You to... can. That's the, the beauty of it is in theory. But here's the thing. Both supports north could have to go right. And then both DPS north could have to go right. And it's like, then you have to think, oh, well, then do we want to make it so the southmost person takes the south bridge? But then what if the southmost person on the bottom, like I the fixed, combo... fixed, fixed position static bridge is really the way to go for all of that. Yeah. I feel like you're still kind of in the same issue though. If you don't respond fast no, enough, so no like, matter what, if somebody delays responding, the, you're, 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 you're doomed. That's just it. If somebody just like for a second goes, wait, am I right? Then you're like, no, then we're done. <laughs> and because we stream like Kyle and I were the only ones on comms. And there was a couple of times where Chad and even us were like, should we just put everyone on comms? And we're like, that's not going to help because eight people simultaneously are going to go. No, you go first. Yeah. so here's what yeah yeah, here's what you really do you let all four of your supports go across do the mechanic all four of your dps die and then just heal our lb3 that's it you're done (laughs) okay perfect just have them stay mid and eat and eat it and just don't kill and then you're fine that's it just just forego doing the entire mechanic i just we're hitting we're hitting final (laughs) rage at like 15 percent. so i i think we should go the other way because we clearly need the damage well but you won't need the phase two damage you want, this is phase one damage. Oh, that's a good point. Mm-hmm. That's a good point. There you okay. go. All right. <laughs> All right. So this is it. Yeah. We're just going to, we're going to bother you from now on. You're going to be our personal pocket uh, strategy explainer. Uh, Ooh, he, call I'll, he does this on the internet. I'll call and just cheer you on. That's <laughs> it. I'll just, I'll just be like ninth manning for Garrett. That's what we call it in rating when we have someone who's not actually playing, but they're like acting as coach. We call it ninth manning. Oh, okay. Huh. So I'll ninth of ninth manning for Garrett and Kyle tonight. I thought, <laughs> so I thought this, was, goes, I this was all we nice needed. You, you know, this us. is perfect. Like uh, this is what I had in front of yeah. me. Do you need any more than that? That was all we needed. Funny. You mentioned that because what are, what Raiders use is a, an online board called Miro, which essentially just lets you like put diagrams down and like write notes and everything. It's just a shared oh. whiteboard. Kyle, so it's very similar to that. If you still have your whiteboard with drawings on it, if you want me to give you a minute, yeah, he has a real whiteboard, so he's good to go. Visual gag, but yeah, yeah, bring it in, man. All right, all right, just go get it. Kyle's gonna go get how (laughs) the 
that this this drove me crazy because I was like, I can't see. <laughs> he had a second uh, overlay set up where it was bigger, but he wasn't all. We weren't always using it, so it was a little heads <laughs> or tails of some of his diagrams. Yeah, Discord does have a whiteboard feature now too. I forgot about that. Yeah, there's all kinds. Um, and then I, I had a buddy. Uh, uh, I haven't checked it out. He's, Beth, if you're listening, I'm sorry. I haven't checked out your virtual whiteboard that you sent over yet. But there it is. There's the whiteboard. Like right there's the yeah. Earth. I can already see Earth phase. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Filler positions. I immediately can recognize every phase. Like it's it's. <laughs> It's still there. Yeah, it's still there. It's a physical whiteboard. What's he going to do? He's going to, we haven't, we don't, we're not erasing that whiteboard till we clear. The whiteboard stays up until a clear is achieved. It was very easy. There like all go. this was easy. Like I drew it once and then we were done, but it was, it was that guy down there. <laughs> that that really, really had lasting there it is. power. I, I'm, I'm surprised there's no uh, light party and flares on there anywhere. Well, we it, yeah we it, figured that one out in game and so we okay. would just drop a square and double check like everyone remember your position's cool move mm -hmm. on so, yeah yeah and uh, uh, I won't I won't give away my reaction just because we're gonna post a reaction video yeah but, um, yeah we are now aware of how to cheese flare phase as of this morning <sighs> <laughs> don't worry you get used to that reaction whenever you want to cheese something okay.